Hi everybody, uh, my name is Mother Anne. If we're being real formal, uh, people call me the Reverend Anne Schneer. I am the rector at Trinity Episcopal Church in Marshall, Michigan. And uh, we are currently near the beginning of the COVID-19 um, uh, crisis, especially in Michigan. Uh, last night, uh, Governor Whitmer implemented increased stay-at-home measures. Uh, so we are uh, staying home, staying inside, uh, except to like walk the dog and go get some fresh air, but we're not going uh, to, to meet with any of our friends um, out in the world because we're trying to keep people as safe as we possibly can. Uh, it's been about uh, two and a half weeks since the church has been able to congregate um, uh, itself. Uh, we've had two Sundays where we have done all of our worship virtually. Uh, the first weekend that we did that, um, I did live stream um, uh, services from the church and from now until at least the beginning of May, I'll be doing live stream Sunday morning services from my home, uh, again, to try to uh, keep people at home as much as possible and give this um, uh, virus a chance to run its course and give our health system a chance to, uh, to catch up with itself um, and, and uh, as we say, try to flatten the curve. Um, up until now, we've been communicating mostly on Facebook uh, and using a lot of Facebook Live, but I'm running into more and more people who are uh, uh, not on Facebook, but they do have internet access. So uh, today, I made a Facebook channel for the church, and uh, this is our very first video. So I am not a YouTuber. This is my very first time trying to create something specific for YouTube. Uh, usually when I go to YouTube, I'm looking for something that's already been um, generated, you know, a clip of a, of a movie or something like that. So um, since I am new to this whole world, I have uh, invited a guest to help me uh, with some YouTube tips. So I would like to, uh, uh, ask my daughter Phoebe to come over here. Yo, -o. hello. Um, Phoebe does enjoy YouTube, and um, I thought maybe it would be easier for her to tell me some tips rather than have me try to learn and fail on my own. Then I can make my own mistakes and not repeat other people's mistakes. So, mm -hmm. Phoebe, what is something that I can do to? Um, to try to make my YouTube videos good? Um, in my opinion, it's not really good. Other people think it's good and enjoyable, but smash that like button, make sure to subscribe, and ring the bell icon so you never miss a video. So that's something that people say a lot? Yes. But it doesn't really speak to you? Yes. Like you don't really like it. Yeah, it, it's overdone. In ah, my okay. So I should not say smash and subscribe and ring, ring the, bell. the bell icon. Ring the bell icon. Mm -hmm. So, but, but I, I want people to like the videos, right? So can I say like, click the like button? Politely tap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and I can ask them to, I mean, they can subscribe if they want to, right? Yes. Don't, don't be pressured to subscribe. Yeah. We're not big on pressure. Um, uh, that's Your not something pressure. that we, yeah. Um, yeah, we try to walk the fine line between invitation and pressure. Um, so, uh, you're invited to subscribe. Would that be... Accurate? It would be greatly appreciated if you <laughs> subscribed. Um, and what does ringing the bell do? What does that do? Um, it notifies you on your phone. Like you can allow notifications for YouTube mm. um, so that you never miss a, like, you'll get a notification on your phone oh, okay. that a YouTuber that you have subscribed to has uploaded so like if i'm is it like following somebody on facebook or something like like if they it's do something then i'll get and then you know how on messages like you're chatting with someone and then you get a like notification that mm -hmm. they have replied uh-huh it's like that oh okay Both so a content creator so it does kind of like break into my day I, yeah it, okay so it's a, it's an extra layer of notification it's not just i was I was on YouTube and I happened upon this thing that I knew that I liked already. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, oh, I want to know 
you know, from you, but also from you, what uh, you'd like to see in this format. Um, uh, on the Facebook format, uh, right now at about nine o'clock, I'm doing, in fact, pretty soon I'll be doing a Facebook Live uh, with prayers from the parish, um, prayers for our leaders, prayers for people who are sick and those who are caring for them. Um, but then I try to end with something that's kind of calming and, um, and you fun. Hymns. Yes, I, <laughs> you may, you sound like, like, uh, like it's emotionally grizzled. scarring. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you do sing hymns. <laughs> I try to make it. Don't patronize me. Oh, well, it's my mom. I, I, I'm, your, I'm your mom. That's my job. Is to always. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, I can, uh, I can sing, you know, I can pray, I can tell stories, I can answer questions. If you've got questions about, um, me or the Episcopal church or, I don't know, family. Marshall family, um, I'm happy to do that. Uh, shout outs is something I've heard about too, right? Yes. You can, um, comment with, um, what's your handle? I don't know. What, what, what is a handle? The channel name. <laughs> I think the channel name is Trinity Episcopal Marshall. Yeah, so you can type Trinity Episcopal Marshall and then say I would like I would like a shout out and then um And then like at the next video I'll say hey Yes, yes buddy. hello so and so uh-huh and I'll tell you who it is. Okay. Okay, so we can do that. Yeah. Um, and this will be a place to park the other videos also. So yes. um, I'm not too worried about creating new content quite yet, except for this, so that we know some context of what's happening. Um, but uh, pretty soon I'll be spending some time downloading the videos or uploading the videos to, yeah, to YouTube. Uploading. Yeah, move, moving them from Facebook to YouTube uh, because I already created that content, so why do it twice? Um, so uh, please do comment so that we know that you're there and um, you know, we're happy to tailor um, this this content uh, for this format. Um, uh, if you have specific prayers um, that you would like um, offered, I, I'm absolutely always willing to pray. Um, and remember especially that uh, you're not alone right now. This is a hard time and we're separated by distance. Um, and nurturing that relationship is really, really hard uh, when we can't be in physical proximity to each other. So uh, that's part of why we do this is to, to try to remind people that they're not alone. You are not alone. Um, God made you. God loves you. God is connecting all of us. And uh, you're not um, alone when you're going through this. So uh, remember that as well. Um, I hope that you find this to be helpful. Uh, I hope that we have a little bit of fun. And uh, most especially, I hope that you are aware of how God is working in your life and that um, God is always calling you to, to receive God's love and to share that love with others. Um, thank you so much. Have a great night. Phoebe, thank you for, for being here. Um, she may show up again if this isn't too traumatizing. And I know, I know. Um, Emotionally scarred. That's right, always. Scarred for life. Yes. Um, so, good night, everybody. Uh, God loves you. We love you. Uh, and take care. Be well. Have a coolosis day. Oh, coolosis.